हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हूम एंड येस टुडे इज द डे वी डू इट डिस्ट टू हॉपिंग अगेन लाइक आई नो यू ऑल हैज ऑलरेडी सेट दैट आई विल डिस्ट टू हॉप एंड येस आई एम गोइंग टू बिकॉज इट्स माई जॉब बट देन द रीजन वाई आई एम डिस्ट टू हॉपिंग दिस टाइम इज प्रिटी वेयर बिकॉज आर्ट प्लस हाई प्लान इज जस्ट परफेक्ट एंड यू सी आई नॉट अगेंस्ट अबाउट समथिंग लाइक आई हेव बीन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेटअप ऑफ हाई प्लान प्लस आज I've not done anything to the setup. It's been almost like five months for me. Like really, five months. I've been using it on my main machine, and that is the problem. Like I'm a YouTuber. Distro hopping is literally my job, my everyday job. That's how I create content. Don't I? You already know me. But then that's the thing. Like in order for me to feel creative, to think like yes, I need to. I need to create a video about this. is a time when i see a problem when i face a problem some challenge or it is something new going on in the world of linux i've already created a video about that but still like i need to see a particular challenge a problem something to solve something to explain that's how i create videos but what if everything was just perfect that's the place that's the thing i need to change today yep well let me just say something which a very wise man maybe a hundred years or so said that the worst thing you can do to a man is to remove all his problems from his life or the fan he will never forgive you maybe maybe not i don't know like life you know like when all the problems are fixed i'm not against that a person might not be happy when he or she has the perfect life but then that's the point Right now I need some problems to solve I need some challenges to face I need them that is why today we are going to dish to hop again into a new version of linux well i've been thinking like there are fedora 43 the new pop os coming together kde linux and then the latest version of ubuntu is pretty nice as well so i've been wondering like which is the best experience i can get as a content creator and a daily driver who just does works in his daily life on linux And I ended up with Fedora 43. It's obvious, isn't it? I have been a Fedora fan for a long time. So today we're going to reinstall, well, not reinstall, completely purge Arch Plus High Plan Setup, wipe out the hard disk, and then reinstall it again. So yep, let's get started, shall we? All right, then here we are on a beautiful setup of High Plan, which I'm going to have. Purge down to the edge, wipe out the whole drive in order to properly install a new Linux distro. Well, before reinstalling things, let me just have a last moment with you guys with this desktop. So we have our Rufi, a really nice start menu for Sud, application menu, and then we have our Power Control, really handy, and then we have our Bluetooth, really nice, and then we have our Wi-Fi, which is nmd ui and it works flawlessly and then leaving that we have a file manager yazi y a z i and it is really really awesome like way too great and then leaving that everything is just perfect i've been daily driving data surf as my default browser lately and yes it has been a really pleasant experience when you know especially when it comes to creating content and planning things like it's really really nice and the power of ai as a digital notebook It's just awesome, and then well, yeah, I don't have much to show because this is the time to say goodbye. Literally, man, I've created so many videos on this particular setup. Let me just show you. This is the Wings Resolve Studio, and it looks damn good on this high plan setup. Just take a look. These are all the videos I've created. Well, you might think it's not that much, but let's just calculate, shall we? We have five of them in a row. They are approximately one, two, three, four, five, five columns. Five into five, we have twenty-five videos, literally, man. And yeah, in some of them, I have just created a single video in multiple projects, or multiple videos in single projects. Well, let's just leave that, okay? Now let's start the download process. So let's search for Fedora. There we are. Wait, I thought Fedora forty-three has released. Man, it's just Fedora forty-three beta. That means I'm gonna have to settle for Fedora 42. Well, then looks like I'm gonna have to search for some other things as well. Well, we have Ubuntu's latest version, 25.10 beta is also here. 
we have Zoe no S18, Beta, literally man, so many Betas. Where is Alpha? Where is Sigma? <laughs> well, if you're an Indian, you know what I'm talking about. You know, personality type, Sigma, Alpha, Beta. There's a lot of shit going on in India about this particular thing. And my throat is not so good, so the you know, my voice won't be that great. Now, let's think, like, which is the best layer distribution to install? Well, it's the answer is obviously Arch. Well, we have Peak OS as well. Really, really awesome. Gives you everything out of the box without any problem. Has an awesome and beautiful Hyperland setup, which I've really liked. Well, let's go on with our beloved Fedora 42. Or, when the time comes, I'll install the latest Fedora 43. Yep, it's gonna be obviously to know. Well, I have Intel AMD x 64 The download has begun. It's gonna take what the hell? Okay, 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 wait. Looks like I already have an ISO. Really, really nice. Let's see. So, it has to be in downloads. Well, let's search for Fedora, Fedora, Fedora. We have a lot of stuff. There it is, Fedora 42.1.1, there it is. Alright then, let's my, let's plug my USB. There we go. Let's open GNOME files for easier access. Whoa, I already have Fedora 42 flashed on my USB, but I'm gonna do it again. There it is. Open with Disk Image Writer, open. Here we are, destination 123GB, USB file, restore. Okay, sorry. Enter. What the hell? Like... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna miss this desktop so much. And yeah, there is another thing I'd like to show you. You see here, Legino. It's actually a direct shortcut to my Windows partition. I'm right now on dual boot. I have a direct shortcut to my user data, you know, photos, videos, the user stuff, user place. Well, I do have a beautiful desktop in mind I would like to have on my Fedora setup. Yes, I do have a desktop in mind, but then I might just end up with a really, really minimalistic and simplistic desktop. Alright then, we are done. So yep, it is time to pay my respects to my beautiful desktop here. Goodbye. Alright then, so here we are, everything is done. I have properly completed the setup of my Fedora 42. Now, I do not want to show you the installation process because it's boring, it's normal, obvious. I have dual booted and after that I updated my system, installed the essentials, for example NVIDIA GPU drivers, OBS, VLC, GNOME Tweet, installed below my shell extension and yeah, I carried on the same wallpaper, that's it. Yep, that's it. This is the starting point for a new journey of a suit. I've already downloaded the Windows on Studio, I'll be installing it later, it takes some time, you know, some dependencies and everything else. But besides that, everything is just perfect and awesome. Now, let me give you a warning. Do not install NVIDIA drivers from the official RPM repository. Yeah. Well, it shows I've installed it from here, but I've not. I've installed NVIDIA DKMS, which is a hybrid graphics which supports multiple Linux kernels and supports if the Linux kernel changes or upgrade, whether it's Zen kernel, LTS kernel, or the normal one. This allows me to be stable all the time while transforming hybrid graphics that for example whenever i go to power saver well i had to do something to in order to get that but whenever i go to balance it's in hybrid when i go to power saver it turns off my ndk gpu to save battery and it has been working flawlessly well let me just show you well this is indeed the latest version 580.82 and along with that we have all the essential things definitions the extensions have not been downloaded properly. I don't know why, but I might not need them as well. Besides that, we have the full Vortex support in Linux for the first time, 50 watts, thanks to your DKMS support. And yep, now I will create another video about the proper setup after completing and installing everything which is essential to me. This is just a starting phase, the better the starting point of this. Alright then, so yep, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments what you think about it. And now I'm thinking like, you know, to create videos in this particular setup. A white background, a charcoal t-shirt, me, and this beautiful blue curtain which I've added a bluey effect which looks pretty cool. So yes, things are pretty nice. And yes, if you have any suggestion, let me know in the comments and I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm all signing out.